And there's a couple of major sticking points as thousands of Minnesota nurses try to come to a contract agreement with hospitals where they work. More than 12,000 nurses in six local hospital systems are trying to iron out a contract agreement. The main sticking points are pension plans and staffing. Nurses say they're being stretched while the hospitals say the staffing levels are adequate. Here's Caroline Lowe. Both sides say it's critical they come to some kind of an agreement, but something's got to give. Last year, more than 1,700 nurses were laid off from local hospitals. And with the hospitals making a profit, then that you know, kind of plays like, okay, did you really need to cut this many nurses? Uh, we're not looking to cut any of the staff. We're looking at how they float across to different units and what hospitals they can work in. Nurses say the number of patients they care for has increased in the last couple of years, potentially putting patients at risk. More typically, it's four patients now, and night shift can have up to seven or eight patients per nurse. And then when you're looking at that nurse to patient ratio, you have to understand that they may have more patients, but there also may be other ancillary personnel there. There may be nursing assistants or other unlicensed staff that can help them, so it's not totally one nurse to so many patients. The hospitals say they want to cut the nurse's pension fund by a third. What we're trying to do is do a pension reform, not cut the pension per se. Anybody that's got the accrued benefits there, they will keep them. But this issue is not sitting we too well to with the nurses. In order for us to take good care of our patients, we need to know that we're secure in our job and we're, we're secure in our plans for our own future. Now the nurses vote on May 19th to ratify the contract or authorize a strike.